Hey everyone, I'd just like to make a little video now to share with you the secrets of my life that, that I have um, a, ba a balanced and happy, healthy life, so to speak. Somebody asked me a while ago, Owen, could you do a video of your practices, your morning or, or, or li living practices? How do you stay sort of like so well and healthy so much? And I'd like to tell you a story today of when I went to the Body, Mind, Spirit Festival in Ireland just a couple of months ago, and I went to see I went to see two people. One was a psychic. Um, one was a guy who could touch your hair and touch your hand, and he could pick up energy from physical issues in your body, and he's psychic too. He was a beautiful man. Oh man, I really, really, really strongly connected with him. He was my favorite, <laughs> my favorite guy at the event. Like I just felt kind of like heart melted when I saw him. I don't know, it was really nice. I even even gave him a kiss on the cheek like a few times. You know, I just we just knew we both loved each other and liked each other so much. And my mum got a reading, and my Sally, Sally and myself got a couple together reading. But um. Oh, he was such a nice, warm and nice man. He was almost fully blind. He could only probably see one foot, two foot max in front of him. Uh, he'll be coming back again. I look forward to seeing him. But I went to see also another guy who works. He is a psychic guy. He works using tarot cards as the tool to help his psychic abilities. And he also takes pictures of auras and I went to get my picture taken because I never I never properly got my picture taken before um, and and um, the the person who took who, who was taking my picture before he took my picture he said hey yeah you're very you're very balanced like you're very good like I can feel your your, your system your your energy now like just keep I just wanted to say whatever you're doing keep doing it because you have a very you have a good balance like it's and so then the picture came out a few minutes later and he said sure enough the picture like also showed what he felt anyway because he was energy sensitive and psychic he he just felt my energy like sally because sally's energy sensitive and psychic too my partner if you're interested in like looking at sally's website to learn more about my partner my lovely beautiful girlfriend sally you can look below at the links and you can see her website physical and spiritual Dot com and you can see if you're interested in something related to physical or spiritual with her so she does readings and energy healings from a distance so let me tell you more about the story shall I thank you tree love ya <laughs> I'll just kissing the tree there you probably missed me let's catch it in camera there we go maybe a bit of so the story went on that half of my aura, just a little bit over half, was purple, purpley, and the other half was reddish, almost a half, less than half. And what that represented, he said, was of a good balance in all of my chakras. That's it's rare to see somebody who has both such the spiritual purpley representation colours and the red meaning like physical and the world because a lot of these people he didn't say this but this is what I'm saying a lot of people these days there's most of the world just at the moment it's changing of course will be all red and I saw a lady there who had all red and that represents you know your your really your lower chakras that your root uh, red yellow and orange physicality, worldliness, um, things, materialism, materials, just taking things at face value, you know, like just using your simple senses, being being engrossed and involved, and maybe even overly so, imbalanced in the senses. And things and world, security, home, money, making it, that's all like the red, basically. That's all like the, the root and base chakras. 
the, the other trackers at the top, which aren't higher or better or superior by any means now, let me tell you that. Just the way this tree here now, you can't say the higher chakras or the higher the higher part of the tree, like the root and the branches, you can't say that they are like better or superior than the roots. It's everything, you need everything together working as a whole. It's like your liver isn't better than your heart, your heart isn't better than your lungs, your arm isn't better than your leg because it's higher up or something. So, so many people mistaken that and they try re renounce or reject our basal chakras and a lot of religions and spiritual movements in the past have done this because back then there was a, a, a huge overwhelming imbalance in the world where the masculine was like overpowering the feminine males were like super dominating the females in the history but also um, so too was the, 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 low, the basal chakras were sort of more dominant and prevalent in the world there was like fighting over land, war, dominance, control, all that stuff over things, money, materialism, all the type of thing, okay? So as a result, we threw the baby out with the bathwater and said, hey, this stuff is wrong, like the other stuff is better, the, high, the, the higher chakras, you know, your third eye, your crown chakra, your heart chakra, <laughs> you know, psychic abilities, clairvoyance, clairaudience, claircognizance which is knowing being communicating with the spirit world this stuff isn't better than sensuality and sexuality and sexual energy the creative chakra the orange color it's just like I said the tree it all comes together and that's what being a full spectrum human being is all about that's what That's what balancing balancing the yin and the yang is about, the, the up and the down, the left and the right, the physical and the spiritual, the world and the spiritual realms. It's integrating spirituality or spiritual teachings into your ordinary daily life. That's what the secret is, that's what the mastery is, not like rejecting a part of yourself. You accept love and, and integrate all aspects of yourself, you don't renounce a part of yourself, like that's sort of crazy that's not like fully spiritual if you know what I mean that's not what a full spectrum human being is all about to just sit down and meditate all day long that's not at all what a full spectrum human being is about it's about integration of the spiritual wisdom and knowledge so I'm just making this uh, video on my phone and I shut off because it became full over there at that tree so I had to empty my last 18 minute video and the previous few minutes in that video. <laughs> so uh, I love the Irish countryside so deeply and so much, such a pleasure living here. And I love just making like a non-pretentious video. Oh, I just love it, it's just like my joy and happiness. <sighs> so I was just saying anyway, I'll come back here again that um, it, it it's not about just like meditating for example all day but you can't like in the past for example like let's say Paramahansa Yogananda he, he, he's a famous like guru figure for a lot of pe people fantastic he did he used to meditate like many hours many hours back in the day when he was alive per day and then later on he started participating more in the world he did live with his like in an ashram and uh, with learning from a guru and other disciples so i'm not saying anything is wrong in today's world it's less likely to be like um unless you go to an ashram you're more likely to have spirituality involved in your life and that's actually when, when it's most actually challenging because it's trying the challenge and the mastery is the integration that's what i found in my own life like like Ram Das said like if you want to see how enlightened you are go spend a week or two living with your parents <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's loco loco shit crazy stuff going down there my friend wowzers <laughs> it's true you know like life and your parents and family and people will challenge you that's that's the test that's the rubber the rubber meeting the road so to talk again now why I was have a balanced a reasonably balanced like a pretty good enough balance and I feel it in my life obviously he was feeling it's just 
less stress than I used to have and many other people have and it's a pretty good integration into real life into living in the world being able to fit in and play a part and do well one of the biggest things I have going and practicing like he said whatever you practice is there I keep doing it and I was like then it took me a while like even till I'd already left I was thinking like what are my practices like <laughs> I don't do anything <laughs> that was the hilarious part and then I realized what I do and what I do is I don't particularly do anything as in I'm really easy on myself and flexible and I'm like an animal like the way Jesus said like be more like animals and children and then you'll enter the kingdom of heaven just to use that little analogy because they embody the characteristics of enlightenment because they're pure and unconditioned and unprogrammed so an example is like I won't I don't I don't meditate except I'm going to start just happens as I'm just happen to be planning that I, I, I heard from this guy actually that I will I asked him or he told me I will have the opening and capability of more like stuff like mediumship maybe or psychic abilities like more mediumship in the future if I feel like it and I do feel like it so and I learned from Abraham if just to just to have a special 10-15 minutes worth of like particular deeper mind relaxation and just you know, that type of meditation, quieting and relaxing. I might do that just to open up the doorway to say to the world, hey, listen, I intend this and I'm taking this action to show and prove that I'm willing and wanting to have communication with non-physical beings and to channel like entities of love and light. But apart from that idea that I have going on that I'll, I'll implement soon, I don't usually, like, I haven't meditated for years. I do nothing, like, I just simply follow my feelings. If I feel like going for a walk, I will. If I don't feel like going for a walk, I won't. I don't self-criticize myself, usually. If I do, it's sort of like a laugh. Like, feckin' hell, you idiot. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, I can say that to myself on occasion, and then I, I giggle, I laugh at it because it's funny and it's humorous and I just it's just letting out frustration basically so I don't put down and criticize my feelings or emotions I don't invalidate myself you know if a child is crying I heard somebody say like Abraham again do you say hey shut up stupid <laughs> like or if a baby falls you'll get, you don't say hey get up stupid <laughs> You know, you're tender, you're gentle with the person, and that's the way we can be and the way I am with myself, really, you know, like, I just accept myself in my imperfections, and I try to remember to accept other people in their imperfections. Like, we're all a perfect, immortal being, a soul, but it, then we're the human, and that's like, you know, it's like the physical and the spiritual too, the world and the heavens, the combination and integration. So, what I was trying to get at earlier, is a minute ago, is that I don't force myself to do things that I think I should, in the same way as most adults do, but the children and animals don't. So that's why I have harmony and balance of the chakras. I don't say, oh, I shouldn't be interested in sex, or that's just a common topic. And I like the, I love, se I love sex and sexual energy and death because they teach us so much. You know, there's such huge hang-ups we have. The whole sensuality and renouncing our lower chakras, our basal chakras, like that, that causes so much disturbance in people and in lack an imbalance. That's all I can say. Renouncing your sexuality or your interest in sexuality and creativity and sensual pleasure and enjoyment and walking and swimming and massage and hugs and loving and kissing and smiling and laughing. That's all physicality. Like, that's all ex creative exp expression and sensuality. So. And then there's death. That's a different topic, but yeah. There's no death, but there's obviously the death of the physical body, but there's no death of you. <sighs> but, um. So. And to say I should meditate for 50, for half an hour or an hour or two hours or five minutes a day, 
I should do this if I'm spiritual, like that's that's not true. There's no shoulds, shoulds don't exist. The question is, do I want to? Usually I don't want to, and I don't. And I feel great in life because I'm not forcing myself to do things I don't like. Like some in the past, I used to go to college because I, I don't know, I, doing something I didn't even like, and I just thought, ah, oh, sure, it's only one more year, and I hated that year. Should I, should I, should I have stayed there? Like <laughs> I did, and it was perfect because it happened. But I wouldn't do that again because I've learned from that. I just don't do things I don't like or resonate with and you know just try and follow your heart and find follow what you really like and love in life do what you're passionate about what you're interested in do you like making jewelry try make a jewelry business set it up online get active and creative and innovative as in creative and you know embody your thought into the into the world and make it become manifest so to speak so that's my secret really, um, I make small gradual progress in things, like sometimes it's very slow and I'm okay with that because I can't do it any faster and I just make peace with the fact that <laughs> I guess I have like maybe you know like some limitations or whatever and even physical I got crippled years ago it was fantastic it taught me great things in life but it was arduous and very arduous fine with me you know it's fine that's, that's the way it is and then you learn and you find out how to heal yourself and that's what I did and now I'm fine again basically I feel very very good now physically mentally emotionally for years like my mental emotion was like very good like I'd say eight nine ten but my physical was like one or like minus three <laughs> I'll just give it a one you know I could still walk a bit <laughs> couldn't cycle or run or carry anything heavy or walk for fire but at least I could still walk and I had my legs but you know people have lost legs and if anyone's missing it they've lost their legs you're not a hopeless case either so it's okay but guys in the last few minutes what I've said there guys and ladies guys meaning everybody guys um, I think what I said there could really help you in life to just quit doing what you hate Start, or at least try and decide, start doing what you love. Follow your true heart. Open your heart. Integrate in life. Stop being against things. Try to let go of the whole idea of good and bad, right and wrong, because they don't actually exist. But what does exist is what we like and dislike. For example, this might sound hard to some people watching, but should I trigger, try and trigger some, I don't want to try and trigger some people, but should I say something that could trigger, like, let's say, I don't know, I don't really want to say anything that's harsh, like, but let's say killing, for example, it's not usually, let's say, I'll just say things aren't right or wrong, but personally, I really don't like people that kill each other, I, I hate it, so I just don't like it, you know, it's something that I prefer not, I prefer compassion and peace over hatred and violence. I prefer understanding over not understanding and when you empathize and understand with somebody you love them like the human and then you don't want to hurt them and you want to protect them and that's the way I feel with animals too and um, I prefer not to try participate in their killing behind closed doors by somebody else and then I buy them in a packet in the supermarket their, their muscles I prefer not that really, you know, and I try not to let things get me down in the world. I try not to think about all the stuff I don't like, but I do try and think about what I do like and get active in the gentle manifestation of what I do want in the world. And that's um, it's part of the reason why I'm making the video, and part of the reason why I'm making the video is because I'm waiting on Sally to go for a walk in nature, and she said she'd be over an hour. but. That gave me the opportunity, but I'm inspired to spend the time to make a video because it's a, it's a, this video is a topic to my heart. Somebody asked me to make a video on this and I have a need to contribute and to be of worthwhile to the other people in the planet. So it makes me happy and fulfilled to to fulfill my need, that need of mine to, to be of service and help and contribution to the to other human beings in the world and to help make the place 
the earth a more better positive environment to my liking so I love to help people of course and that's why I have a YouTube channel I just felt so so bubbling with inspiration I just I don't know like I'm a I'm a talker some people are artists and it's hard to try and or a musician and it's hard to try to put down your musical instrument and you know this is the way it is I suppose so I don't know it's there you go guys so I hope this video helped and uh, always a pleasure to hear from you and any comments and it does make uh, I always like to get like some likes or comments and feedback or how this if this video has helped you with any of your needs in life and what what the needs were in like the way I've described and how it made you feel emotionally that helps to people to empathize and connect and to really really give and to really receive oh, that's beautiful so I'm gonna go for a walk soon I can see a cat far away but I don't think this camera can pick it up it's just going out of sight hope this video helps truly it's been a long enough video I've talked about a lot of stuff and uh, it's just nice also for me to share my my experience and my journey because we all have we all have that so maybe you'll express your journey sometime in a little bit of a different way or, or else through video possibly too so I'll go home now and send you love and peaceful vibes take care God bless much love and uh, feel welcome to share and subscribe if you're new or check out my links below and any links for Sally and health, body, mind and spirit and I'll see you again another time. Look forward to hearing from you personally. Bye. Take care. See ya.